Good morning. It's your butterfly. I'm coming to you live from the parking lot. Like I always do. It's Tuesday morning, y'all. I couldn't come live yesterday because when I got to work, I was frazzled because my tires started going low while I was driving. Now, I know y'all may have heard me say before that I live on one side of town. Houston is a big city and I have to drive all the way to the opposite side of town to go to work. Well, on Sunday uh, midday, my tires said that they were low. I said, okay, you know what? Let me go around the corner because I know there's a little tire shop around the corner so that I can, you know, get it checked out to see if maybe it has a nail in it or something like that. Got around there. Gentleman checked my tire. He took it off, put it all in the water. You know what? They're trying to find bubbles. He said, I can't find anything wrong with your tire. I said, but the tire just went low and I had to pump it up with this pump. He said, I can't find anything wrong. Okay, fine. He said, this tire has 40 pounds of air in it. Okay, fine. I go ahead and go back home. Next morning, you know, I'm coming out just checking, okay? And it's dark. When I leave for work, it's dark. And my tire was okay. I get all the way across town. Y'all know I stop and buy my scratch-offs. I come outside of the uh, service station, get in the car, start driving to work, which is very, very close to my job. Bing, bing, bing. You know, I started getting a little notification on my dashboard. My tire was down to 25 pounds. I'm like, oh, hell. Well, now they have us parking in a parking garage. In a parking garage, you know, if something happened to your car, it's very hard to get a tow truck in there. And I have the kind of car that they cannot pull my car. They have to put it on a flatbed to take it um, wherever I needed to go. Well, I say all that to say this. I was already stressed. I'm like, God damn it. If this tire is low when I get off work, I'm going to have to figure something out. Well, anyway, it was low. I said, you know what? I, I'm going to show y'all my trusty pump that came with the truck. If you don't have this in your car, I suggest you get one. Ladies, gentlemen, this pump here is a lifesaver. You see that little thing right there? That's to put it on the tire. And this part here, let me pull it because it's a long, long cord. Well, you stick it in your, uh, stick it in your uh, lighter thing. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Stick this piece in the lighter, and it's a long cord. So if I put it in here, it'll stretch all the way past the back tire. So I can put some air in my tire. So ladies, gents, if y'all don't have this thing, like I said, mine came with my truck. This thing is a lifesaver. So when I got out the truck here in the parking garage yesterday, I went ahead and pumped my tire up until the dashboard said that it wasn't low. I said, okay, let me go to work, do what I got to do. But all day at work, I was like, damn, I hope I don't get out and the uh, tire is low. Lo and behold, y'all, I get off work, come to this truck. It is flat as a pancake. Like, God damn it. And you know it's already over 100 degrees here in Houston. Luckily, I was in the garage, so it wasn't as hot. Got my trusty pump, child. I got outside this truck, put this on my pump, on my tire, and started pumping up my tire. And again, I let it pump up until my dashboard said that it wasn't uh, low. But I was still frazzled thinking, oh my God, I have to drive all the way across town to get home. I didn't want to get on the highway just in case my tire went low and I had to continue to drive on it to get off of the highway. You know, it could have possibly had a wreck or somebody could have hit me because I was going slow. Then my tire shred up. It was just, I was frazzled. Well, anyway, I called my chocolate drop, told him what was going on. He was like, okay, try to go here, this, that, and the third, you know. So he talked me all the way to the other side of town. Well, I pulled into this one little tire shop that's over here close to my job, but it had too many cars. I said, uh-uh, I can't be waiting. I'm like, uh, I'm on an underground, underground railroad. They was going north, honey. I needed to get south because I live on, on the south side of town. I said, mm-mm, I need to keep moving. I need to keep moving, keep moving. So I kept moving and all the way across town. Lo and behold, when I got, I went to this uh, tire shop that I've gone to before because where I wanted to go buy new tires, they closed at six. I wasn't going to make it there in time. So I needed to go to this one place that I know that they can at least fix my tire to last a day or so or whatever. I kept driving. Ding, 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 ding. Here go the uh, 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 dashboard telling me my tire then went back down to 25 pounds. I was like, oh, oh hell. Because I knew I still had maybe a, maybe a 10 minute drive to get where I need to go. Why I got in the school zone. It was jam-packed with so many cars, so that meant we wasn't moving. I say, God damn it, I need to get to get my car checked out. Instead of driving. So I hear him did a whip around, went around. So, you know, I figured out how to get where I needed to go. So I'm driving, driving, driving. Number steady going low, 23, 
22. I'm like, I need to get through this light. Because it looked like that light was holding red for a long time. Anyway, got through the light, went over there. The guy said, you have a hold on the side of your top. I'm like, why that man didn't see that yesterday? Made me mad, hell. That means he wasn't paying that much attention. Well, anyway. I got my tie patched and I'm going to go buy me some new ties this weekend. I say, hell, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy me four new ties. And this is, you know what, and I said this to say that I was supposed to be holding this the whole time. <laughs> I wasn't. This is to a male with my here in Houston. Clean up these old raggedy ass rolls. First of all, they raggedy and they got nails all over. That's because we got too much construction going on. Am I the only one here in the Houston area that's constantly getting nails in their tire? I'm sick of it. Hell, now I got to go spend money. To buy me some new ties but i need to i'd rather be safe than sorry but that was just my little rant child i was so frazzled when i got off yesterday because i was worried that i was gonna go flat while i was driving from one side of houston to the other this morning i came out and you see me side eyeing my tie to make sure it was still up it was good i made it to work fine i think i'm gonna be good until i go buy me some new ties this weekend but that just let you know hell anything can happen and you got to be prepared so ladies get you one of these pumps and keep it in your car I'm telling you, it was a lifesaver. But all right, y'all. Y'all know what I got to do. Get in this building and go make the donuts. And when I get off, hope the tie ain't flat. <laughs> but I thank God I made it home safe yesterday. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.